Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Eco on the Gang Z server. I just logged in and it looks like it is a lovely day outside. Oh, look how bright and sunny it is. So we've got a full day ahead of us to get some work done today. And check out my uh, my new sign here, PSJ's pad, and wipe your feet. And I have a little candle down here that's actually still burning. Wow. So this burns tallow, and I dumped a whole stack of tallow in there the other night. And that uh, that burns for about, I think, 30 minutes per tallow. Holy mackerel, that's awesome. Unfortunately, I can't shut it off because that one tallow that's burning does not come out. But I'm going to grab that other tallow there and save it for another time. I love how that looks. It's so cool. Anyway, so we have, uh, let's see who's online right now. We have several players on. Wells Knight, Dahl, that weird PSJ character, and Biffa2001, who is our latest addition to the server. What the heck is that? Is that a windmill on the side of Mojo's house? It sure is. What the heck? Whoa. Man, I tell you, these people are... Look at this house over here. <laughs> it's a mansion. Man, I go away for one day, and suddenly people are... Uh, Building up mansions and windmills. That is so cool. What can you do with it? Yeah, so this provides power to a certain area. That's great. <gasps> what? She's got a stone ramp leading up to the house, too. Oh, I want a stone ramp. Yeah, so apparently these guys have been super active on the server lately. Look at her house. <laughs> is this like a pantry or something? It's shelves. Bookshelves, maybe? Look at this, a sawmill. Holy smokes. And this is a Wainwright table. Yeah, we have roads and wood carts apparently already made up. But wood carts only require boards. That's not that hard. And dirt is just dirt. Ro uh, dirt roads is just dirt with civil engineering. All right, yeah. So we can probably come in here and use some of this if we grab those skills. Or we could, we could hire her to make some stuff for us, right? Another shelf over here. No, she didn't lock the door. Of course, we don't lock doors around here. We're an open door community. Everyone is very trusted. All right, you know what? We're gonna go check town out in a second because I know these guys have been hard at work. But there's a few things I wanna do around the house first. All right, so what were we doing in the last episode? Hey, there's a little tree here growing in front. I like it. I think we were working on tailoring table, right? I do remember that much. So, oh, sorry, we you gotta go. So let's go check on that. It should be done by now. Of course it's done by now. But I don't remember how long it took, but it's been several hours. So that was done on the carpentry table, right? Let's open it up and check the storage. There it is, tailoring table. Spearhead the fashion movement with the finest clothes and hair. What, I can make hairstyles? No way. Oh, dude, that's going to be awesome. Let's check our avatar. Yeah, so we have a head slot for hats and stuff, but I wonder if I can change hairstyles. We have a, uh, a chest slot, pants slot, and a boot slot. So we're going to be able to make hats and shirts and pants and shoes and maybe hair. I don't know. Unfortunately, guys, I did some research on the tailoring table, and it's broken right now. It's a dead end. I can't place it down because I might get kicked off the server. So we're just gonna leave it right here. We also need a brick house to put it in. A very large brick house. It has to be placed in a room of volume 45 or more. So that's something we're going to have to invest in. And I've already spoken to Dahl, who is our, um, is he still here? Dahl is the, he's, he's one of the carpenters or engineers or something and he does brick. Or maybe he's a mason. I don't know. We'll go we'll, stone mason. We'll go talk to him and see if he can uh, he can get us some brick for a brick storefront, and that's where my tailor shop will be in the town. Uh, oh, one other thing too. Yeah, I placed an order with. Oh, don't chop the door. I placed an order with Cubulose Construction Company. There it is for a table and chairs. And he said that he had made them and put them in my chest. And sure enough, he did. He did. Oh, this is awesome. All right, we can put a uh, table right under that window there would look nice. Huh? Or maybe over here. Let's put it over here for now. Yeah, right by that double window. This is really nice. So he did this for nothing. I told him I'd give him something. I can probably make him up some foods. 
But Generic B has a food store in town. We're going to go check that out, too. Apparently, it's all the rage. Everybody loves it. Eating up his uh, campfire stew, which gets you up to, like, 200 skill points a day. We're at 120 a day right now, which isn't bad, but, man, I need to get some of that stew, baby. All right. Oh, I love that. Thanks, Cubulose Construction Company. <laughs> we'll go check out his store in town, too. Actually, before we go to town, we should get a butcher table started. Because, since tailoring is a dead end right now, I need something to do. And I'll need to butcher anyway. We'll need butchering to um, chop up the animals that we kill. And get their pelts and skins and so forth, right? So, right here, five minutes. We have all the boards we need. It's only 17 boards because I have an efficiency. So that cost is reduced by 15%. My woodworking efficiency, right? There we go! No carpenter necessary for this. Everybody should have at least woodworking one. Simple enough, right? And a sign. Oh, you know what? Probably always good to carry a sign or two around with you to leave around town and stuff for people. But now it's too late. Because that's going to um, be five minutes. So, alright, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. I don't need anything else right now. Let's get down to town. And let's go say hey to some folk. So we've got a house over here, looks like. Or is this a storefront? Oh, I really need some steps like that for my front lawn. Oh, it's Vortex Bane. <laughs> he locked it? Dude, really? You don't trust us, Vortex? Just because I got you killed in wolves, in the U by wolves in the Yukon, <laughs> doesn't mean you can't trust us. All right, well, it's got a lot of chests in there. And chests are all public storage, so whatever. I could probably chop my way through it, but the whole place isn't secure. No, no, it's really not. <laughs> no, yeah, look at all these goodies in here. Oh, thanks, Vartak. Oh, he's got a wooden sign. Yeah, watch this. All right, let's take that wooden sign. And let's put it, let's let's get it, let's do it inside, watch. Yeah, although he, lock, he locked his door, he put a claim flag in front of his door, which protects a 5x5 five five area. He obviously didn't protect the whole house, so we're going to freak him out. I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna put a sign in here. Oh, this is a big sign. All right, let's uh turn it right here. So when he wa oh when he walks in the door, he's gonna probably come into the door rather than through the wall like I did, right? Oh, wrong one. There we go. Okay, it's down. It's a big sign, isn't it? Good. It'll get his attention. <laughs> there we go. Okay, just click on the sign. Walk away. Close that. So, there, well, there we go. Your door was locked, so I made a hole in the wall to let you know of your security vulnerability. <laughs> I think he'll get the message. And now we can close up that hole. Although, maybe I should just leave the hole. Nah. Eh, I guess leaving the hole would, would make it more profound, wouldn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Let's just leave the hole. Nobody else has got to come in here and take anything. We're all good peeps. Get in there. Okay. Very good. So there you go, Vortac. You got to put your claim flags all around the whole house to protect everything. Now, what is this? Oh, this is Cube's place, right? Cubeless construction. And he locked the doors. Okay, well, he's closed, I guess. That's fine. He's closed. I'm not going to check for any security vulnerabilities in his house right now. We got other things we got to do. <laughs> so has anybody done any work on the center? Doesn't look like it. Though there is a sign here. Let's go read the sign. Today's catch from your mayor. Yeah, Ty Designs thinks he's the mayor. I think he's running for office, but nobody's actually voted for him yet, as far as I know. It's something we can check, but it brings us out to a website. It's like if we go to the laws, I think it's the laws page. We actually do have one law enacted right now, and that is you can only kill one wolf per day. So... Here's a wolf right here. Oh, it's a fox. Oh, it's a little fox. It looks like a wolf. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some of these wabbitses because I'm going to need the pelts. Since Ty the mayor is killing wabbits and leaving them for other people, I might as well take one. Still doesn't get my vote, though. Oh, a prickly pear seed. I haven't seen any prickly pears before. All right, so let's see. Metal, metal working book research in 20 minutes. Oh, nice. Yeah, Wells Knight and Doll. These guys are just... Crazy with working, man. They're, they're here all the time doing some good work. Look at this house here. It's all stone almost. What is this thing? 
It's kiln. You can make bricks. Oh, this is what we need right here. Stone working three. Then you can get bricks. I need bricks for my tailor shop. Oh, and a tallow lamp would be really awesome. It's only stone working one. Sand and tallow. Ooh, I might have to just get basic stone working. I wonder how much that costs. This is a bloomery, which makes the ingots. And an anvil. Right, I think this is Dahl's workshop. I'm not sure. Oh, who's this? Hey! Hey, hey, is that Wells Knight right there? It is. This must be his place. He doesn't... Sometimes he can't see me. Like, the other players are invisible. Is this your workshop? Like, I, he, he runs right by me sometime. Either he's ignoring me or he just can't see me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can see me right now. I'm right here, dude. It's a public workshop. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's check stone working out. Let's see how much that's going to cost. Um, I'll probably have to do masonry. We need a masonry skill scroll. Dal's level 13? Wow. All right, we're going to go check. I like it. I like it. So now, let's go check the library over here. And the, the temporary library is over in Generic's house. Uncle Jenny's 100% organic and free-range grill house. <laughs> so I think he leaves the door open so people can come in here and buy stuff. So he's got a shop. Well, here's his shop right here. Cool. Oh, so Fox and Mojo maybe made that workshop. Store f requires the following to function. Too many craft tables. Oh, my gosh. This store doesn't even work. Here it is. Okay. Sold out. Wow. He had some campfire roast in here, charred sausage, and prime cuts. Okay. Well, the prime cut's not sold out, so we could give him five wabbits. See, this is what he's buying, and this is what he's selling. So we could give him five wabbitses and get one prime cut. Well, let's do that. Let's go get three more rabbits from uh, from Ty's donation over here at the center. And we'll try out this shop. I've not done this before. That's really cool. So eventually, we're going to make a, um, a tailor shop here in town. It's going to be a brick house. And Dal's going to get us some nice, lovely bricks. All right, so we have nine bunnies in here. I'm going to snatch some of them up. You know what? Uh, I'm going to take the fox, too. Because since I'm the tailor, I'm sure people are going to want, like, fox um, coats and things, right? Let's get my torch out so we can see a little better. Here we go. All right. Open that up. Go to the store. And I'm going to give him one, two, three, four, five bunnies. Oh, that's how many are already in there. Okay, yeah. So we have to give him three bunnies. For a value of 15, and then we can buy one of these. Trade it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Uncle Jenny. Prime cut. Now, I'm pretty full right now, so I don't think I can eat that prime cut, so we'll save it for later. 60 grams of protein, 30 grams of fat, and 600 calories. Wow. Yeah, I really need to get a storefront up and running, but I don't have anything to offer right now. He's got a butcher table in there, but we want to use our own butcher table. Oh, yeah, we want to go inside anyway, right? Did he lock this door on us? Oh, you dirty dog! All right, where's all the skill books? Oh, no. I wonder if they move the skill books somewhere. Let me go. I guess I could ask. Or did he leave that available? Can I can't quite get it. Where are the community skill books now? Okay, apparently we have a community resource center, a CRC, and there's a second floor. Eh, I don't know where that is. So, oh, is, that, is this it up here? It's not a mansion after all. It's a community center. Okay. Well, I didn't know we had a community center. My gosh, stop playing for one day and they make a community resource center. <laughs> okay, found it. All right, I hear things happening up here. Whoa. 
Food. Oh my gosh. Hit the jackpot. Wheat in that box. Nothing in this one. Holy mackerel. You guys have been working hard. Man, you guys have been working hard here. Crazy. Second floor, he says. Where are the stairs? All right, there's stairs apparently to the second floor on the outside of the building. Oh, here we go. Community crafting center upstairs. <laughs> wow. Wow, awesome. All right, well, I guess this is the place. I guess I don't have to go busting through people's houses anymore looking for this. So, uh, skill books, but we should have skill books somewhere. We have scrolls right here. So we don't need the book at all as long as the scroll is here. Oh, there's one. Consumed. We have learned smithing. Oh, there's a milling skill book in here too, which we're going to have to learn. Masonry. All right. What's in here? Here's all the books. Paper, smithing, milling, masonry, glass working, engineering. Man, these guys are super industrious around here. Baking? Ooh, we could get into some baking, maybe. All right, let's do that. I don't have a baking skill, but I do now. All right, we got six more claim flags for that fella. Wow. This is really nice. Now, what's this over here? A quarry? There's a quarry right here. What are you making a quarry? So in a quarry we can make brick, stone, roads, ramps, pitch, roofs, kiln. Wow. Yeah, I don't know who's responsible for this place, but I'm glad it's here. And a butcher's table. Community butcher's table. But I want my own butcher's table. So I'm going to make... Well, I already have one being made anyway, right? In fact, let's go back home and check that out. Hey, this is great. I like it. Thanks, guys. All right. So, yeah, let's just get back home, and then uh, we'll get working on this butchery. Where's my house? I'm, like, right over there, right? All right. Butchery table. And we should be able to put that down somewhere. Over here, maybe? Let's find out. See if it works. Putting it down is the easy part. Oh, cha-ching. Yes, it meets the room requirements. Three modules, table, two chairs. All right. Cool. And now we can butcher and we get hides. And what else? Pelts and leather hides. Fur pelts and leather hides. Awesome. So I have a fox right now. And it requires butchery three for the fox, though. Well, the hares only require regular old butchery. So let's butcher them up. And it's going to give us some raw meat. And many, many pelts. Okay, do it. Six minutes. Oh man, that's sweet. Alright, while we're waiting for those wabbits to be butchered, let's check out the butchery skill, which is under cooking. And let's blow some coin. I've got 224 skill points. We need to upgrade. Prep speed, small butchery speed. I wonder if that's retroactive. I wonder if that'll work on those wabbits that are being butchered right now. I don't think so. Large butchery speed. Okay, what we need to do is just upgrade our butchery level. Oh, man. It gets exponentially more expensive, doesn't it? So now we're level 2. Level 3 is going to be 29 points, but that'll allow us to do the fox. Well, we got to do it, right? We just have to do it. Generic is level 4. I'm now level 3. 129 points for level 4, and that'll allow us to chop up bison and get that prime cut. We're probably going to want to increase campfire cooking so we can prepare fox and wolf on the campfire too, right? Oh, the chopping stopped. I think the butchery is done. Let's check it out. Oh, it sure is. Six fur pelts. And six raw meats. Mm mm mm. Okay. Well, let's grab it. And actually, I'm just going to leave the pellets in here for now. I can't do anything with them. 
But we can at least go prepare some of this meat anyway, right? Oh, I always do that. You gotta click on the, click on it, click on it to open it. Let's go see what we have in here for fuel. Got plenty of fuel. And now that we have this raw meat, what can we make? Okay, guys, so I'm interested in making this campfire roast, okay? And it says it requires raw roast. I do not have raw roast r right now. We have raw meat, and that's what we got from butchering those wabbitses, right? So we need to make raw roast. So my guess is we make that on the butcher's table. Let's go check it out. I kind of bypassed all this. I was so excited to get cooking, but I think we need to prepare the meat first. Oh, here it is. Yeah, raw roast. Yep, right there, raw roast. And and we'll get scrap meat too out of this. Okay, well let's do it. Let's do all of them. Six, five minutes and four seconds. Hi, yay, yay. Um, hold on a sec. Can we bump that up a little bit? I'm already up pretty high. Meat prep efficiency, well no. Let's bump that up at least one level. We're at 131 skill. That's efficiency. Let's Let's bump that up again and that up again. We're going to do a lot of butchering, so we need to do this. Okay. So now, let's see. Yeah, I dropped it down. Look at that. Four minutes and 20 seconds. And I can get more out of it. Oh, yeah! Whoa! All right, all of it. Wait, should we do all of it? Because I think we might be able to do some other stuff here. Yeah, well, hold on. Let's do half. Okay, we're going to use half of the raw meat we have to make a raw roast. And then the other half... We're going to make um, prepared meat. So that'll give us access to different um, recipes, right? Different meals, I think. I don't know. I got some reading to do. <laughs> but reading's for the week. Anyway, we're going to let that go. And I think what we're going to do is take a quick break here. And I'll come back and then we'll make some campfire roast and try that out. And our generic B. The other cookerer is now on server. Oh, Vortex here too. Ooh, <laughs> I wonder if he's at his house. Let's go see if he got our sign. The hole is still inside of the house. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's so confused. Nice hole. Looks like a security breach. Looks like a security weakness you got there. Might want to fix that. <laughs> more claim flags. So I said more claim flags. He says, no, better friends. Could have been worse if I wasn't a friend. <laughs> I would have stolen stuff. All right, let's take the sign down because I don't think he can remove it. I'm not sure. I was recording before you said that. Perfect timing. <laughs> uh, worked out perfectly. All right, well, we've saved our friend from a potential theft, right? That's how I look at things anyway. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is again, wait for this meat and then we'll do some, um, oh wait, hold on, we got something. Okay, we got something, we got something here. Check the storage. We have our raw roast, woohoo! And we have scrap meat. Dang it, I like this butchering stuff, this is fun. Campfire roast. We're going to get a lovely roast. I mean, look at that thing. The uneven flame might be mediocre for cooking, but the open flame imparts a great flavor. 65 grams of protein, 45 grams of fat, and 750 calories. And we get tallow. Let's make a couple of those. Oh, it's done. Open it up. Private storage. We've got charred meat, and that's not what I want. Campfire roast. That looks delicious, doesn't it? And we got some more tallow for more candles or fuel for our candle, which we're going to go fuel up right now. Let's toss that in there. Bang. Just one for now. Save the other one for another candle. Oh, I wonder if we can make a candle and put it on our table. I bet we can. I really love the way that looks. Oh, I always chop my door. All right, let's make another candle, which I believe we can make right here on the old workbench. Workbench requires a... F oh, no. Too many crafting. All right. 
I think I know what we can do. I'm going to have to move it over here. Okay, guys, just doing a little remodeling here in my den. Ooh, I like the way that looks. What do you think? Oh, that's cool. I guess I could do the same on the other side so the doors can match, but nah, I don't think it really matters. Let's put these back in there and get out of there. And let's go get our candle. Put it on that table. I really want to see how this looks. Candle me. And I want to make a lamp, too. So we're going to go to the community center and make a lamp. Maybe in the next episode. Oh, can I, I can put it on there, can't I? Where is it? Oh, I missed. Right there? Yes, it worked. I can't get it in the center of the table, but I can have one on either side. Let's make another one. All right, so we'll have matching candles. We can have a candlelight dinner. Just me and... Uh, uh, well, my neighbor, Vortac. Vortac, let's have some dinner sometime. <laughs> I don't think he likes living next to me. Weird, right? Hmm. All right, awesome. With that, my friends, we are definitely going to call it quits. Finally. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go bug Vortac. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.